Hey, what's up? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you are Misa Hilton Brim, I understand she's going into mama bear mode, but baby, wrong road. Y'all, I am tired, tired of Diddy's enablers. If you guys don't know, Misa Hilton Brim put this post up to which I said, what? the heck is going on from Misa Hilton Brim putting this post up to Ethiopia Haberman issuing some nonsensical denial slash protection of Diddy to Kamora Lee Simmons trying to help Diddy push and my, again this is all my opinion push this family man persona by posting Diddy's daughter for the first time the same day Diddy poster y'all what is going on I will say one thing the rich and the powerful, and the forget about that, the people that surrounded themselves with Diddy surrounded for a reason. And baby, they are complicit. I find it odd that everybody is talking about these black men, these sons. But did you care about anybody else's son? Did you care about anything else? It's just so self-serving. First of all, let me read to you what Misa wrote, right? And then we're going to start getting into this because baby, no, listen. And I, listen, here's what she wrote. And I'm going to be fair because she even brings up the lasers, right? Because no mom's going to be like, yes, I'm glad my son got lasers pointed at him. But just listen to this, y'all. Let me know if you want me to go live about this because oh, I am tired. These people, let me just get to it. Misa posted this. The overzealous and overtly militarized force used against my sons. And she put up this video too. Used against my sons, Justin and Christian is deplorable. If these were the sons of a non-black celebrity, they would not have been handled with the same aggression. We're going to get into this, but can I just pause? Is this where you're coming from? If these were Steven Spielberg's kids, they wouldn't have been treated this aggressive. Misa, this was not a, a traffic stop. This was not a DUI. This was not Diddy's trying to bust the coach's head open with a kettlebell. Do you understand these charges? Your sons? This wasn't against your sons. This was against their father, who is being accused of running blank trafficking. Have you not seen Taken? Do you? Anyway, let's keep going. She said, the attempt to humiliate and terrorize these innocent, young, black men is despicable. I'm sick of these people talking about black men when it suits you. It's like the dummies in my comments about, oh, they try to take us black people down. Leave di you want me to let a predator walk along the streets because we s share the same skin color? Baby Harvey Weinstein fell. Uh, Jeffrey Epilator fell and Diddy can fall too. Baby, that's not my idea of black excellence. You talk about black men, but do you care about any of these black men saying Diddy took advantage of them? What about the black men that the feds found on the tapes? What about the black men that drank from the, la the wrong bottle? What about the black men that said, and Diddy's aggressive and you got to tell him no. What about the black men Diddy allegedly hired? Now, granted, nothing I'm saying has been proved in court, but these are allegations that have been made. What about that? What about the black women? What about the daughters? What about Cassie? For Misa to come out here with such a self-serving statement, you are letting your sons, these black men, run around with people that have been accused of trafficking. Is that is that not clicking? And the thing is, I understand the mama's bear. I understand while she's, uh, why she's upset. I understand. Because no mama's going to be like, I'm looking at this video. Yeah, glad my son got lasers pointed at him. But that still doesn't mean that everyone else is supposed to sit there and pretend that your son, these black men, are not being accused of being a part of a horrible trafficking ring. That also, by the way, blows up, that the boss blows up people's cars for fun. Have you lost your ever-loving mind? This reminds me of Kamara Lee when she's all just doing all the stuff. You literally defended Russell Simmons when he was being accused of this and called the women liars. Your, son, your current husband literally defrauded the sovereign nation for real estate development fund of Malaysia, robbing billions from a poor country. And Misa, 
You know what Justin's been, you know what Diddy's been into. You were the same person saying that. I'm not going to let you. Everybody's going to sit there and act like everything's all right. But you sitting here acting. Are you not going to act like that Diddy has not been accused of blowing up people's guts? There are shootings involved in a bathroom with Diddy, Justin, and an undisclosed person named G. That happened. Three walked in, two walked out. And you talking about under force? Do you understand what's going on? Again, can we please pull up the Cassie allegations? Diddy is accused of blowing up somebody's car and hanging people off the 17th floor balcony. Are you serious? Yo, I'm beginning to think, not even with class solidarity, but I begin to think that there's a reason why Diddy was allowed to do. Because as long as people can, I don't know, or maybe it's just self-serving that as long as it's not happening to your kids, you don't care. Because you knew what was going on, I would assume, or you heard the rumors. Leave it to some people, Diddy got handsy with her. She said, enough is enough. Did Justin need several laser beams from firearms pointing at his chest? No, but they were trying to unnerve. And again, that's your baby. That's somebody else's CEO of a potential blank trafficking ring that will that the federal government is trying to prove. Now, if they're wrong, sue them into eternity. I would go off. That would be called, forget about that being called the White House. That would be called the Tisa House. I would go off until I had everything in this country under my name because, but in the middle, take out your son, which is all the Kamoras of the world, the Mises of the world, because Kamora's so cool with Diddy, helping him rehab his image. Calling Russell's victims like, y'all mad that y'all got more to say about Usher hanging out with Russell Simmons because according to Aoki and them, he been a bad dad. Forget about all the women that said he just been a bad person. Y'all got more to say about that, right? Than y'all do about any of these victims. Misa, Kamor, none of y'all have public, uh, commented publicly about these victims, these men, these women, what everybody knew. Nobody came out and shared their story. But now we are supposed to feel sorry for Justin. Did Christian need a blank pointed at the back of his head while he was handcuffed? I don't know. Do potential people that are potentially involved in it? Did he hire Bobby Sternum? She is an international attorney. The, she has the highest uh, uh, security, uh, uh, what do you call it? Security clearance for a civilian lawyer with the federal government. She has represented Osama bin Laden's right-hand man, his main shooter. She has represented Jussain Maxwell. She has represented the guy that tried to blow up the Heathrow airport. And she also was bought into the case halfway through to represent Sean Diddy Combs. Her specialties, international terrorism, racketeering, trafficking. Now, now when you know, look at Sean Hawley, represented Danny Masterman. Murder. Represented Tory Lanez, crazy person with the pow pals. Now you ask yourself, look at the who's the last person he just hired? Alec Baldwin's attorney, the guy that represented him in rest. You got Jonathan Davis. Ask yourself, why did he hire all those people? Because again, Misa, this is an issue you need to take up with Diddy. And ask yourself why he got your sons around his foolishness. Ask your, call Diddy and ask why the feds think you involved in all this. What's going on? Did you ask him? How many times have you seen young, unarmed black men not make it out of these type of situations alive? Again, now y'all pulling the black card? Ain't little Rod somebody's uh, black son? Ain't the men that did he was, ain't they somebody's black? Like, what? Again, this electric outrage. You want to pull the black men card when you want us to just act like Diddy ain't Diddy. You want us to pull the young black men when they Diddy bopping and they CEOs of Bad Boy Entertainment. But when people start to see, allege, how Bad Boy Entertainment is really getting it in, how they really getting their money, and how they've been preying on a whole generation of young black men and women, we have to overlook that. My son's attorney, Jeffrey Litchin, is investigating the excessive, excessive use of force, which was unnecessary and certainly not required by this search warrant. We will fight for justice, utilizing every imaginable resource. 
I'm not with the propaganda. First of all, this is standard mess against a raid. Second of all, you not get with the propaganda. What propaganda? You mean the propaganda with your, with your son's father that you're protecting? You're, you're investigating excessive use of force? Baby, this is standard with the raid. Don't hang around people alleged to be traffickers. That's the first thing. And don't be CEO of a company that's allegedly been funding trafficking. On top of that, we will fight for justice utilizing every imaginable resource, baby. Let that chopper sing, because that's what Little Rod's doing. That's what these girls are doing. That's what the Jane Doe's are doing. And that's what Cassie did. And that's what Diddy hired five or four of the most high-powered, influential attorneys that are literally trying to craft a, cover, a public narrative of him being a victim. That's what they're doing. And you're protecting this monster. Baby, there is a line in the sand. And me said, this ain't it. This ain't it. But baby... Do what you need to do because it is what it is. This is the security. Pro Listen, she, this is the security footage that's been playing on repeat. But again, let's not forget that Chalice recording studio shooting. Like, yes, I admit the feds can be evil and they do unfairly go after black people. But to ignore Look at this video, that your sons are being investigated for an international blink trafficking ring, and you're mad that they weren't treating your kids with, with, with treating your kids with kid gloves like they did Jeffrey Epilator? Like, it's not justice, Misa, to pretend like traffickers deserve the same treatment. It's not fair to pretend that your kid gets to be treated like the same person that did a DUI and got off. Oh, that was Justin, too. Remember when you were going off? Jeffrey Epstein got treated like dirt. Jazane Maxwell got treated like dirt. Every person that is a public raid for blank trafficking. R. Kelly got treated like dirt. Harvey Weinstein got treated like dirt. And now you mad? This makes me so mad. I, she's a mom. I get it. I get it. But we're not going to act like facts don't exist, Misa, Kamora. Yo, what is going on with the women of that generation? You guys are protecting. And again, if these allegations are found are, are proved to be false, then perhaps we owe Diddy an apology, but as of right now, no, nothing seems false. And more and more people are starting to freak out, speak out. And these aren't the people that are, these are not the people that are suing him, Misa. It's just, it's, listen, they are, how is this a thing? How, how messed up is it that you would use this and invoke black men? They are billionaires that are involved, in, well, pretend billionaires, really bad, that are involved in a blank trafficking ring. They were busted. They're all complicit. From Kimora showing baby love to show that she's still standing by Diddy without showing her. They don't care. Kimora didn't care nothing about Russell's victims. And why is Kimora catching a stray? Because Kimora knew about Diddy, Russell, Kim, all that. They don't care. It's all about access, money, power. And when it comes to Misa, maybe it is about her son. But at the end of the day, baby, don't act like you don't know that your son ain't running with wolves and you wonder why they getting sniped with the wolves. To pull your son back. This is not a traffic situation. This is an international ring. Misa, take it up with Diddy why he had Justin around all this mess. Take it up with them. Take it up with Diddy that Diddy even had Justin and them in the house chilling when his lawyers are preparing for his criminal with the federal indictment. Take it up. Baby, there's shootings. There's Cassie. There's Little Rod. Do you not understand uh, about this? This isn't your baby anymore. This is a co-conspirator. And that's the way the federal government is treating him. Y'all, listen, let me know if you want me to go live later. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.